This is our last day in Utah 2022 and we're in the Kalab Canyon. It's on the northwest side of Zion National Park and we're going to start off today by doing a five mile trail and it's at the Taylor Creek Trailhead. Compared to a lot of places that we've been this week in the desert, there's a lot of plants around here. It's probably because we're following a creek the whole way. But that also means there's a lot more bugs and that's starting to get a little annoying. We both really enjoyed this trail. In fact, it's probably in my top 10. It was, for being five miles, pretty easy, especially compared to a lot of the other trails we did in this area of the state. There were some ups and downs, but nothing too bad. Some positives about this trail. Um, first of all, there's actually a pretty good amount of shade, which is pretty rare here in southern Utah. Today the weather is just gorgeous. There's a light breeze, it's warm out, and the views are just incredible the whole way. We have walls on either side of us that are a thousand plus feet probably towering above us. And this is right off the interstate, and we've hardly seen anybody out here today. And then there's one negative, which is if you stop, probably about 10 flies will be crawling all over you because I don't know, there's just a lot of flies around here. It was really cool to see the cabins on this trail and just imagine living here. It would have been a pretty spectacular place to live for sure. This is the double arch alcove. There's the first arch, and then there's the second arch way up there. That is so high. These arches probably don't look that impressive with the video, but this is really one of those places that you just have to actually be in person to appreciate the beauty. We are back after a couple hours and I can't recommend that hike enough. It's just beautiful the whole way, not too crowded, and it's actually pretty convenient to get to. I understand why people don't come to this trail because you know, it's probably 45 minutes from the main part at the south entrance, but I totally recommend it. Uh, just make sure you bring some bug spray because those flies are annoying. <laughs> The trail we did here was the Timber Creek Overlook Trail. The parking lot here was pretty big and it's only about a half mile hike to the fantastic overlook so it's probably pretty crowded here in the summer.
that was a rattlesnake. Almost walked right onto it. Now, I'm not positive that that was a rattlesnake, but it did appear to have a rattle on the back, and when I looked up some pictures on Google, it sure looked a lot like it. Either way, though, it was definitely used to people because it did not seem threatened by me at all. I'd say this is probably the fourth best overlook in Zion National Park, definitely the best one in Kolob Canyon. You almost get 360 degrees of beautiful scenery. We just hung out here for a while, we ate our snacks and enjoyed the view. Well, this is going to conclude our hiking at Kolob Canyon. Totally recommend it. It's just incredible out here. It's a nice day trip. We're going to pretty much head back to Las Vegas and fly out tonight. This adventure's been fun. Can't wait for the next one. Bye.